Hey everyone, how you doing? In today's video, let's look at dental x-rays and do they cause cancer? Should you be worried about the number of dental x-rays that you've had in the past or you might be having in the future, especially if we're considering dental implant treatment where we start taking a lot of cone beam CT scans which have a lot more radiation than normal little x-rays. So my name's Gus, I'm an implant and cosmetic dentist. I'm based just outside London in the UK. And I recently went on a, on a course and a little section of the course was on dental radiography. And it's one of those topics that dentists need to keep on top of and keep their knowledge fresh on the subject. Okay, and it is an important subject because it's very well known that radiation is linked to cancers. And this is a very emotive kind of headline, but should you be concerned? Because um, in the UK, about a quarter of all medical x-rays, okay, so think about this, all the x-rays taken in hospital for any medical reason, a quarter of those are dental x-rays. And this is partly because basic dental x-rays are so widely available and a lot of people will go for dental checkups and have an x-ray every once a year or every two years, whatever it is and just to make sure that everything is okay. Now, if, if x-rays are so dangerous, why, why is this happening? Well, the truth is some x-rays carry more risk than others, okay? And what we need to think about is the ionizing radiation dose per x-ray. And we have to think of the risk versus the benefit. So let's take a tiny little x-ray which your dentist would routinely take at, um, at a checkup appointment. Okay, so typically there, there's, we call them bite wing x-rays where you can see the top and the bottom of the teeth either side. And the reason for taking these is quite often to check for decay in between teeth and to get a, a little bit of a glimpse of the bone levels, make sure there's no gum disease. So to know if, the radiation on x-rays is dangerous. We need a reference point and our reference point is our, our background radiation. So if you were to just spend a day you know, inside or, out, or outside, on average, you're going to be exposed to a certain amount of radiation. And the dose, the, the way this is measured is in a unit called millisieverts. And on an average day, you'll probably be exposed to about seven millisieverts during the, the course of the day. And these little dental x-rays, which you have, you know, once a year or once every few years or whatever it is, are typically about two millisieverts each. Okay, so it's less than the a full, well, it was, it's pretty much half a day's worth of background radiation. But the thing is, it's in addition to the that radiation that you were going to have anyway. Now this doesn't sound like a lot. In reality, it really isn't a lot, okay? Because if you think about it, the consequences of not doing this is we end up with disease which is undiagnosed and which can then be you know, much more expensive to, to fix, okay? So it's much easier to fix a small hole in a tooth which we can see on an x-ray rather than wait for it to become a big hole and it forms a, a, basically a cavity in the mouth and you might need root canal treatments and crowns which are much more expensive and complicated treatments which could have been averted if that hole and that problem had been caught earlier and that's what x-rays let us do. Now this isn't the only kind of x-ray which we take. There's another one which is called different things a panoral or an OPG or a DPT x-ray and quite a lot of people have seen these. It basically shows the whole set of teeth and all of the jo jaws with the surrounding bone around them. And this is quite a, a common x-ray to take and this has a dose of about 20 microsieverts. Now moving on to imaging which we use more for dental implant treatment, here we're looking at CBCT scans and it's the same kind of x-ray machine that would take the, the panoral x-ray but it takes a lot of them and slices and then puts it all together because of the process there is more radiation dose okay and this can range from 40 millisieverts to 80 millisieverts and if we need to take a, a bigger kind of a volume we would refer to this as, as volume say we want zygomatic implants where we need to you know take a, a larger x-ray we're looking at in excess of you know 70 80 micro uh, millisieverts for that okay now Again, we had to have justification. What is the reason that we're taking this, this x-ray? 
And this is the, the cost benefit which the, the dentist usually has to carry out and they typically write all of this down in their notes. What was the reason for doing this? There has to be a, a reason for taking these x-rays and we need to ensure that when we take these x-rays we do it as a, a smaller dose as possible. And in the UK, there's strict guidelines on how we take these x-rays, why we take them, how we report on them and, and all of this. So if you've ever had a, a CBCT scan, you know, in, in our practice, I think we the cost of it is about £200 or something like that. And it's literally taken in 30 seconds. You might think, hang on, you know, that, that doesn't seem fair. But we have to spend another five, 10 minutes reporting on each scan, writing it all down. Then we need to, to assess it. There's a lot of a time element involved with making sure that th that scan is as useful as it possibly can be and I typically do this once the, the patient has gone gone home. Now with any kind of ionizing radiation okay and that's what, what we're talking about here there are two kind of effects that it can have and these are you can think of them as, as effects which it's definitely going to have okay so for example if we had an x-ray beam shining in someone's hand and we just held the button there and it was shining for you know 20 minutes everyone would have a burn in their hand okay now these effects are almost non-existent in dental radiography because the dosages are quite low but what we're more concerned about is the chance effects okay and these are the the effects that if that x-ray was to by any chance affect a, a certain cell and cause a mutation and that mutation in the cell caused it to to differentiate rapidly and that's essentially what cancer is you know that is the effect and it may not happen then it may happen uh, you know way in the future depending on what kind of tissue has been irradiated and it's actually a very very complicated subject and I like to just simplify because I like to simplify everything in my head and have this reference point uh, every single day everybody is being exposed to seven millisieverts of radiation and if you if you fly a lot on aircrafts this is going to be more because you're you're, you're higher up and there's less atmosphere to absorb the radiation uh, for, which the earth gets from the this um, from the solar system if you spend a lot of time in the sun again you're being irradiated a lot more so seven is on average in the US how much anyone is likely to, to get. Medical x-rays typically aren't that much. I mean, dental x-rays specifically are really, really low. Medical x-rays are, are definitely a much higher dose, but medical and dental, the, the whole radiology around these subjects is so well controlled in order to keep everybody safe you know, during the, the whole process. But the reason I made this video was actually to help people understand the, the potential risks and why I'll actually take quite a lot of x-rays during the treatment because I think that each and every single time we take an x-ray it's giving me additional information which is going to let me help produce a better result for the patients okay and especially with implant treatment you can see the the important structures where they are with the nerves the arteries all these things are before we make the first cut and we use the CT scans to make guided stents so we can make sure that the implants are in 100% exactly the right position and it massively reduces risks with either damaging important structures or cosmetic risks because it helps us get a better end result okay so I hope you found this useful I hope you got something out of it I'm sorry if I waffled on a little bit on this one um, but again if you've got any questions comments please leave them below